Hi! In this video we will continue our PNL structure and will insert some percentage variations in order to have a clear image about the dynamics of our company. So, each company establish a fixed target for each indicator, for each KPI. So, let's consider that our company for 2019 got also a target. So here we will format and we will set up a column in F column for figures that were established like target for 2019. And here in terms of net sales let's consider that we were expected to 5 to 50,000 then cost of goods sold let's say for 44 Okay, then we have the sum and here is the minus. Okay, now we can copy the formula from here and also we can do this for all our totals or sum rows. Here on operational cost we got 2050 in 2008, that's why in 2019 we were thinking that the cost will increase and let's say that we fixed on 2.2k. Also here we have a minus. DNA from 860 to 1650 but we were expected in 1.4k. Now in terms of financial cost Let's say that we established in the beginning of the year an amount linked to the reality and let's say 4 or at least 0.4k. And here we go. Let's make this red and a little bit smaller. And this is the target. And now we always compare the actual the current year versus last year, so 2019 versus 2018, but also we want to see where we are in this moment comparing with the target that we have established. And in this way you can see what type of decision you should complete in order to be more efficiently in the next year. So. The first column for percentage variances, variances should be 2019 versus 2018. And we will format like this. Again, we'll copy the format. And here we go. Now we should have the formula. It's very simple. So we always report to the last year. So this year slash last year and minus 1 because we we want to have the percentage so equal 2019 slash 2018 minus 1 here we go I will set the percentage and now we will set we can paste the formula till down and also for the totals Now we have here the percentages. The same thing but 2019 versus target. So equal E5 divide on target F5 minus 1. Here we go. We'll copy and percentage and also the format. Copy and paste. Now the last thing that we should complete in order to have a clear image and to be easy to read it's to make some icons that can tell us if it's good or if it's bad. And for this let's take the format for those columns. So let's try to put the format 
So I'll be using conditional formatting just to be more readable our PNL. And for this, as you already know, we have some KPIs like net sales that in our case we have a green light because the values are bigger than the estimated and also the last year achievement. So for those with a positive impact, so when net sales are bigger we are happy. Also when gross margin are bigger, it's bigger, we are also happy. So uh, we will select net sales value, gross margin, EBITDA, EBIT and net profit. All of this going to conditional formatting from the home tab and styles menu tab. We have conditional formatting, we go into icon sets and let's insert a flag so that the flag the color of the flag will give us the clear image. So click on it and here we go. Excel automatically give us some colors with some periods of our figures. But we know that we need to set up our internal expectations. So going to conditional formatting into the manage rules window we have edit rule and here we can set up our wishes. In our case let's say that we estimated and we want to be more carefully with the values that are outside of the 5 percentage. In our case we will select here 0 0.05 and we we'll give number 0.05 and here will be 0. So we will have green if all of those selected cells are greater or equal with 5%. We will have yellow if the value is between 5% and 0 and we'll have red if we have a decrease so less than 0. Click OK, apply, OK, and here we go. We have green because we have increased the net sales. We have here a yellow because it's minus 8%. So this give us the message that something goes wrong. Let's try again. Manage rules, edit rule, and here we should have also number. So that's the point because we have split it, we have divided on 100 because it's about percentages. Click OK, go OK, apply and now all is clear. We see the red flag because here we have a decreasing, here also the, the only one thing where we are in line it's with the net sales where we have a small increasing of 3%. Now for the cost rows, let's select them and going also into the formatting tab icons and give some flags. Here we go to manage rules, click edit rule, edit rule and here we go. And this time we talk about costs and we want to show us the values in a reverse icon. So it's red when the value is great, greater or equal with 5% or we can also put here a number so 0 0.05 here will be 0 and number so if we have a bigger amount in costs we want to be red if it's between 0 and 5% it's quite okay but the most important way is to have a decrease so to have less than zero. Click OK, apply and here we go. The only way, the only thing that we see that it's good is that the operational costs are much lower than we were expected. And let's check again the formula for our costs. 
to be more clear manage role edit role and here we go we have 0, 0 0.5 so for 2019 versus 2018 we have a decreasing with 2% okay so all good we have only from 0 to 5 positive if it's yellow so this is a way that we can make more readable and change also the blue light color here and that's the PNL image for our company mm -hmm.